many people here are employers, business owners? Quite a few, right? If you're going on a month-long holiday, how many people are you thinking about hiring about that time? Pretty much nobody. So I couldn't find a job, except there were some jobs that I saw in the paper. Commission-only sales. Can you imagine anything more daunting for an introverted guy that's kind of terrified of his own shadow? But I had no option. I promised my family that I would look after myself and I'd pay for my own bills. So I took a job selling door-to-door -door telecommunications to businesses. My old manager that trained me had this saying, we throw mud up against the wall and we see what sticks. Sounds like a cool saying until you realize that you're the mud. Now, after five days worth of product training and not a single second of sales training, I got thrown on this road. This is called Sydney Road in Melbourne, Australia. Over a thousand doors on each side. And I went to walk into the first one and I had this realization. No one told me what to say. I had no idea how to sell. So I took another deep breath and I walked in and I was politely told to leave. Shortly after that, I was sworn at and then my personal favorite, I got told to go and get a real job. This was a real job. This was all I could get. Door after door, I was rejected. I was sworn at. I was told to get a real job until the 93rd door where I made my first sale. I remember I was ecstatic for about 45 seconds. I made about $70 but then I had this realization, I've got to do this again tomorrow, and the next day, and the next, and the one after that, every single day for the rest of the year. That was not OK. But I had a reading speed of a sixth grader. I couldn't exactly pick up a Brian Tracy book or a Zig Ziglar book and learn to sell. And then I discovered this really cool tool, YouTube. It actually surprised me then. It might still surprise you. There's actually a lot more on there than just cat videos. So I convinced myself that sales was a process. It had to be a sales process, otherwise my year was going to suck. And I went to work learning that process. Every single day I got a little bit better. Soon it was 75 doors, and then 63 doors, and then 48, and then 22, and then 18, and then seven, and then three. About six weeks in, my manager pulls me aside and I thought I was in trouble. He pulls me in his office, he's got this puzzled look on his face. And he said, Matt, we're kind of blown away by this, but we just got our national sales figures. And it turns out you're the number one salesperson in the company, which just so happened to be the largest sales and marketing company in the Southern Hemisphere. So they promoted me and I got put in charge of a team. Unfortunately, no one taught me how to manage, so my sales team of 20 quit within the week. But back to YouTube, learning how to manage a sales team, and shortly after that, I got promoted and promoted and promoted. Fast forward a little over a decade, and I've been responsible for five multi-million dollar success stories in Australia. But more importantly than that, I went from scared to sell, really terrified to sell, to teaching hundreds how to do it. Now, through my new best-selling book, The Introvert's Edge, I get the opportunity to teach thousands.